Hey guys, Oliver Windows here, and today I am back with another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be installing Windows Whistler version 2202 or 2202, however you want to say it. Uh, I've never really looked into these actual builds on actual hardware before, so I guess without further ado, let's go ahead and just turn on the laptop and see what happens. I'm getting tired of this, though, where it's asking me about the, uh, you know, do you wish to attempt to boot at this speed? All right, so let me push yes here and let it boot into Windows Neptune. Windows is starting up. Mm, yes, I love it, love that sound. All right, so we are now booted into Neptune, uh, which to me, technically it was the first build of Whistler, but you, you just, you are uh, who you are, I guess. Uh, so now I'm going to take the disc and I'm going to put it into the uh, little CD slot here. I was hoping it would automatically open up, but uh, okay. So it appears there's no upgrade uh, of things, so we'll just run the setup and hope that it works. It's from an older version of Windows. Por qué? What do you mean? It's definitely not an older version of Windows. Neptune isn't. Wait a minute. Did I did I get something mixed up here? Hang on a sec. Oh, that's right. I forgot Neptune is uh, 5111, and that is my problem. I hope Whistler allows me to boot. Oh man, I hope I don't have to install Windows 2000 just to install Whistler. Alright, cool. Now I got it to boot into Windows 2000, so I guess now we just gotta sit here and wait on this to work. While we wait, why don't you guys push the subscribe button? It's right there. It's free. Oh, also, the like button. It's also free. Oh, make sure to share the video as well. Oh, and uh, if you guys want, there's also a new join button right there. Uh, it's, you know, $3 a month if you guys want to uh, support me, help buy me a coffee, or, or help me purchase more discs because I literally I use so many discs. <laughs> but, all right, uh, on with the setup. Let's go ahead and push continue here. It's weird. It says it's 160, but 138 does not sound like 160. It's interesting. F8. I'll just let it install because I'm not letting it format because it's it's a slow format. All right, it should just delete the Windows files and then put Windows 2000 on it. Nice. Okay, good. It is doing exactly what I just said it would do. I've never actually done that before. I always I think I always thought that that little setting right there would format the disk. All right, there we go. All right, time lapse time. Cool, computer will be restarting soon. Microsoft Windows 2000 Professional. I can't wait to get further into the series to see the cool, like, you know, boot animations. So this laptop, oh, look at that, Marty in the setup. This usually takes a while after, I think, after I put in the product key, it'll take a while to do. All right, now to get into the setup stuff. So I'll go ahead and push next going to type it. I can't see, so I always have to turn on the light. Type Gabe A-O-W Okay, A O-W And now I gotta do the product key. I will not type in admin passwords, just because I don't need to. Ugh, I'm not, I, okay, I'm not going to show this. Actually, you know what, it doesn't matter. Can I type zeros? Yes, I can. Good. I forgot I can do that. So the time is still set for uh, Windows Neptune, so I'll leave it at that. And now it's time to install Start Menu Items, so this will take a little bit as well. And there's that lovely boot screen again. Let's go ahead and take the disc out, just to have it for later. 
Oh, wait, did it install the drivers? Hey, yes, it did. Sweet. I'm so glad. All right, time for the identification wizard network. Wait, what? Yeah, no, no password. Thank you. Thanks for the offer. Come on, please have audio drivers. Heck yeah, we got audio drivers too. Which is a very good thing for me. Go ahead and exit out of this. I'm going to change the background so I can actually have the right stuff. And obviously change it from 16-bit to true color because, you know, I need that. There we go, much better. All right, so I'm gonna put, uh, pop the disc into the CD drive and put the disc in. Wait for it to load. It should automatically pop up, hopefully. So I'm gonna sit here and wait. All right, so this appeared it didn't want to auto boot. I don't think it has the file for it, so that's why it didn't. So let's run setup. Actually, you know what? I can't run setup because I don't have the bio state yet. So we're gonna go adjust date slash time. And I actually printed off all the dates too. As you can see, I have literally all the dates printed off loads of papers because I always use my phone to record. So let me find Whistler here. All right, so we'll go February 3rd, 2000. There we go. Date has been changed. Now let's run setup and upgrade. Yes. Now time to go through the upgrade process, which is pretty much the same thing. All these wait, all this waiting for it to, you know, install upgrade to windows 2000 which it's already in but it's whistler so it doesn't consider it whistler yet i don't even think it knows that it's whistler yet oh it's already copying the files oh great it's another one of those where it waits until after it's installed to ask for the product key which was always very silly i don't know why they did that for a little while and it's already about to restart the computer all right you guys ready for this you guys ready to see windows whistler 2202's setup i forgot to uh enable the shutdown sound i'm sorry Microsoft Windows 2000 Professional Setup. <laughs> it's kind of funny seeing them side by side like that. And here we go. The same exact setup stuff. What? It's already inserted. Maybe if I put the CD in, it'll be like, okay, this is what I need, and then ask me to transfer it back. I hope. Is there any way to get past this? All right, install new copy. Accept. Uh, advanced options. Copy all setup files from setup CD to hard drive. Okay. And next. All right, sick. Okay, yeah, it's copying a lot more files this time. So basically, thanks to the help of Sky, yet again, I had to go into my advanced options and uh, tell it to copy all the setup files over to the hard drive so I don't have to worry about doing all that. All right, finally, it's going to restart and hopefully this time properly, uh, you know, upgrade even though it's actually doing a clean install all right time to do the setup all right continue continue examining disk configuration install continue again uh if i press delete will it delete the setup files checking drive c we'll see how long this takes well okay just gonna set immediately delete all the files goodbye windows 2000 it was a waste to install you I will say, this hard drive is so much faster than the old one. I still have the old one, actually. Alright, time to restart. That was very fast, actually. Well, I guess it was fast because all the set of files were copied to the hard drive instead of it running from the USB. I mean, the CD. Or DVD, whatever you want to call it. So I guess that makes sense. And this literally just looks like Windows 2000. Okay, it went next and I didn't even push it. It's installing the devices. It actually appears nothing is happening, but I'm going to wait a little bit longer before I try and restart. I hope it actually works. I'm going to be upset if it doesn't. Okay, hard drive light is moving again. Time to go through the Windows 2000 setup again. Next. My name. I am going to turn the light on so I can see what I'm typing. I don't actually usually need to see what I'm typing. It's just that uh, my keys on this keyboard get a little stuck. See, I'm pressing W there. There we go. And just go ahead and push next here. All right, so all this has remained the same. Let's go down to Eastern, just because I'm in the Eastern time. 
He's going to ask for the product key next. No, it's going to install network and probably all the other stuff like com plus and all that. Come on, register the components, please. Finally, completing the Windows 2000 setup wizard. All right, I'll go ahead and eject the disk, why not? Click finish. It should restart. There it goes. I love that picture, man. I don't ever want to update the BIOS just so I don't get rid of that picture. And there it is, SD Windows 2000 Professional or Source Depot. Let's go ahead and push next. And next again, and finish. Come on, audio. Hey, we got it. We got the audio drivers. Now we just got a loading symbol. So it literally is just Windows 2000. It looks exactly like it. I'm going to go ahead and enable the shutdown sound as well, just so I don't forget. Which for some reason is never enabled by default. There we go. And of course I'll turn it up so you guys can hear it better. Hello? Go away. Go away, please. Alright, cool. Nice bug. Alright, as you can see... Build 2202. Let's customize it a little bit. See if there's anything special about it. So you got Blue Lace, Boiling Point, Chateau, Coffee Bean, Fall Memories, Feather Texture, Fly Away, Gold Petals, Gone Fishing, Greenstone, Ocean Wave. It's not very blue. Paradise. So those two seemed new to me. Purple Sponge. Ro Rhododendron. Rhododendron. Huh, okay. River Samita Sample. Oh yeah, this is that logo that looks like Windows uh, 11. Snow Trees, I like that one. Soap Bubbles. Solar Eclipse, that one's new. You got the watercolor, which isn't the correct type of watercolor. Someone said to pick River, so I'm going to pick River. River Sumita, I'm assuming is the one they're talking about. I'll stretch it. And there's that bad quality. Sweet. Let's do 3D flying objects, because I just, oh nope, that's not right. Let's turn that up a little bit. Here we go. Whoa there, pedestrian. I still don't know why there's not any flying windows. Let's see, effects. 
smooth edges and that's pretty much it <laughs> make sure nope this is not in true color that's why it looked so funky i'm not talking about the background i'm talking about the screensaver it looks the same anyways um maybe i'll go ahead and do the reg edit to where it has the comments button or i'll do that other thing that uh what was it who said that someone said to do something so there's really not much that much to go through because this is pretty much windows 2000 i mean clearly this is normal windows 2k let's let's go to winver and see if the build number is in it winver it is it is there you go build 2202 all right cool all right let me let me uh go to the reg edit real quick and add the comments button that i'm looking for current user control panel desktop lane button enabled lane button enabled is there a d at the end yes set that to one there we go and then log off and back on so i can log off God, I love that. I love that sound. All right, so now if I go to say the control panel, it should be there. It is not there. Oh well, <laughs> I was I was lied to. Let me add a random printer just to see the the thing the, the thing it's talking about the reference. No, I don't want to print a test page. Thanks for asking. All right, so if I right click, I guess go to properties. And then device settings. Oh, additional drivers. There it is. Windows 2001. There it is. Look at that. I'll zoom in so you guys can see it a little better. Windows 2001. Look at that. Lame. It says lame. The button doesn't do anything, but it says lame. That is not what it's supposed to say. I, I just now noticed the little <laughs> lame. All right. I'm going to check them just to see what happens. I'm installing these drivers, even if it'll corrupt it, it's okay. Unable to install. Alright, well, I guess that's pretty much anything you can find on this build. SD Windows 2000 Professional, it's build 2202. There was the little Easter egg with the button, and the little Easter egg with... It's not really an Easter egg, but like an intentional Easter egg. But And then there was the whole Windows 2001 thing. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. Uh, also, make sure to check down in the de description. I got a, uh, the Discord is down in the description and the, the, the donor box link in case you guys want to help me out, buy me some coffee or help me buy some DVDs. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye, guys.